troubling case has gripped many in the tiny community of Defiance. Robert Thompson continues our team coverage with new information he's learned from neighbors tonight. This is one of the St. Charles County homes where these three men are accused of assaulting, torturing, and holding a 20-year-old man captive in the basement for months. It always seemed like the house was abandoned. You know, like, you know, there's never anybody there that you can tell. The house on Highway D is right next door to a daycare center and down the street from the Double D Market and Gas Station in Defiance. Yeah, I think it's crazy because I would never think anything like that would happen out here. Chris Duell is a clerk at the gas station. He says in the past week, the male victim came to their business a couple of times. He was skinny, looked like he hadn't been fed in over a year almost. Duell says he and his co-workers gave the man free food. A few days later, he returned. He looked calm, but a little scared. He had a bloodshot eye. I believe he drove up here. Duel tells me the victim came inside their store on Saturday night. He says he walked in, bought a sandwich, and then left. He also says the man was by himself. Did he say anything? He, all he said is he asked if I can help him with some food. Chris cannot forget the chilling chat the guy police found on Wednesday had with his co-worker. That he was being beaten and no one was allowed to say anything, otherwise they would kill his pants in India. Really surprised to hear that. It's kind of unbelievable. In defiance, Robert Townsend, five on your side. And a local group that works with children who've experienced all types of trauma says the citizen who noticed something wasn't quite right with the victim and contacted authorities did the right thing. The Child Advocacy Center says our inclination is to believe the good in people, but if you see certain signs of abuse, your gut is usually right.